This is a series of videos on Counter Sketch 4, of which we'll be going through the various ways of using Counter Sketch, from search to order. So the, this first video is going to detail the interface. So the first, this is the first page that your customer is going to see. In each tab, as you hover over it, it's going to give you a brief overview of what each tab, or which shop, so to speak, is uh, going to contain. So you need to think of each one of these tabs as a kind of a section of your virtual window in your shop. Um, there is some um, known items for obvious reasons, solitaires, three stones, men's. Uh, some of the terms may not be as familiar. Um, bridal sets, um, what else have we got? Family, promise rings, um, well they're not familiar to me um, from when I was in retail. Uh, promise rings were not something I was particularly familiar with, maybe you guys are. So, without further ado, let's have a look at some things. So if you click this disc up here, which is, this disc is uh, very, very popular in Windows operating systems. Um, you see the disc as well, which you can't see on my screen, the kind of start button, which they've omitted from Windows 8, which was uh, a sterling move by Microsoft. So you've got a button here called New Session that resets uh, everything. I use New Session on a regular basis so it zeroes out everything that I'm doing. Especially when I get to the freehand section you'll notice that I, I click New Session quite a lot. Account Info. So if I click Account Info it is going to ask for my username and password. Uh, for obvious reasons I'm not going to reveal mine. So let's just log in and just show you what that shows you. So this is um, the front page of uh, uh, the, the account info. I'm just going to change this out to my UK mailing address. Um, it just affects certain things later on, i.e. Uh, the quick quote only shows 9 carat as opposed to 10 carat. So this is where you're going to put your mounting costs, your gems, and and so on. And I'll be covering this in a later video tutorial. So let's just close that out. Let's go back to there. Preferences. Um, we've got display options, estimate settings, region settings, themes, users, and update settings. For people of have uh, used Counter Sketch before, maybe um, version 2 and 3. These are familiar, it's just the layout is slightly different. Unregister the computer, does what it says on the tin, it unregisters this computer so you can load the software on an alternative um, machine, i.e. you could have uh, Counter Sketch on a desktop at your main base, as in your shop, and then you could have the software on a, a laptop as well to take home and, and practice, which I do recommend doing, and also if you wanted to go to a customer's house um, to do a presentation. Import a design allows you to import a design from an external source, so let's say uh, you're having a difficulty with a design, you can send that design to me via export design, I'll then import the design fix what I need to do and then send it back. We don't use these options a great deal. I tend to just dial into your machine and show you how to do things. Import a parts. This is um, a really nice new feature. This allows us to import parts from external sources in the 3DM format. And Because you get Rhino 5 with the software, um, that's not to say that you can't do that and I'll be showing you something about that later in a later video. Quote history just tells me what quotes I've currently got uh, live at the moment. Backup allows me to back up all my customers' details to uh, an external source, i.e. cloud or an external hard drive or network. Exit Counterkit Studio does what it says, it exits out. So moving along you've got your customize screen, uh, obviously I've not picked anything, you've got the freehand screen and you've got order. Um, there is some subtle differences from previous versions and I'll go through these um, through this course of videos. 
So is there anything else new on here, or what else is there? There's this button here which allows me to decrease and increase just the titles. Um, at this point I can't imagine a great deal of use for that just yet. Double click on there, it goes back to 100%. Um, question live chat, that's not live in the UK, that's uh, only in the States I'm afraid. But feel free to call us at any time. Watch your style, I'm going to be doing that in the next video. Um, search for products, you can type in something that you wanted to find. Um, you can minimize the software and you can maximize the software and turn the software off here. So that's the first video in this series. In the next uh, series we're going to be talking about search. Thanks a lot. See you soon.